Hi, my name is Danielle and you're watching Anime Bay. And today we have a anime figure and merch haul video. Now the figures I've already opened up and I'm just gonna be re-showing them because with my bad luck with broken figures recently, I have become way too paranoid to wait to open them up. I'm like, I need to check if they're okay. <laughs> which they are, with the exception of one, kind of, but we will get into that. But before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Bai. So if you don't know them already, Bai is a proxy service. It allows you to buy off of Japanese online marketplaces like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari. I use it a lot. I literally always have stuff stored at their warehouse, which how they do it is they buy or bid on the items on your behalf, then those items get sent to their warehouse, and then from there they get sent to your place. They also have services like package protection if you want to give a little extra protection to your, you know, items, but they also have package consolidation, which puts multiple different items into a single shipment to get sent to your place. I use that one a lot because again, I always have stuff, <laughs> multiple different things bought from them stored at their warehouse. So, you know, that's a really helpful service. Anyways, <laughs> if you yourself are interested in using Buy, then first time users can sign up using the link in my description for a 2000 yen off coupon, which is about $20 off your first purchase. And with that said, thank you so much to Bai for sponsoring this video, and now let's actually get to it. Okay, so starting off with this first package here, which was sent to me by somebody. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but before I get to talking about it, obviously, let's get it opened up. Oh, wow. So this is part of their packaging, really cool. There's just a note here, so I'm gonna read this. Okay, so it looks like what was sent to me was actually from Eric, who is a self-published manga artist. Uh, they have their series Blith, which is a rom-com slice of life sci-fi fantasy all about the first day of college for a bunch of aliens. <laughs> um, so Eric seems like a, a pretty cool, a pretty cool dude, actually, just reading from this letter. Uh, thank you so much for this. I'm really excited to go through the manga. It is right here. And, you know, flipping through the page. Ugh, that is so cool. Congratulations on creating a manga. Like, that's... Ugh, I can't even... That's so cool. I'm gonna have Eric's manga as well as a, his Kickstarter linked in the description down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. Yeah, super cool. They also uh, provided this clear acrylic stand, which is beautiful. I'm really excited about this. Oh, these were also sent as well, which looks to be act two, scene one, and act two, scene two. Really cool covers. I'm excited to add this to my shelf. It's more manga. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, moving on. Okay, before we get into a couple more manga that I'd like to show, I do actually have this an android. It's the latest android that I've received. <laughs> we have power from Chainsaw Man. So I actually bought this pre-order from somebody and then sent it to my P.O. box, which I had never done before. So despite the fact that I chose Surface, when it didn't show up for months, I just kind of assumed it got lost in the mail. And I, and I was like, I'm going to forget that I ever bought that. But luckily it didn't get lost in the mail and it did end up showing up and it's here now, which is really nice. I had the Denji pre-ordered as well and I canceled that when I thought it got lost in the mail, um, but it's not. So now <laughs> I'm going to start looking out for Denji again, uh, but I'm not willing to buy him for anything more than market value. So I imagine I probably won't get him. <laughs> But who knows, maybe a re-release will happen. I'm not in a rush. But yeah, I have Power Now, which I'm happy about. Literally my favorite character from the series made the whole thing. I mean, the whole thing was great, but you know, loved Power, of course. And I will be opening this up at another date because I hate opening up Nendoroids. But also I kind of think I might do a video where I just open up all my Nendoroids that I haven't opened up yet in like one go. So, um, <sighs> Am I gonna do that? I'm not looking forward to it if I am. <laughs> Anyways, you know, we we have power. And then I was out of town because I went to go visit Gwen. And while I was out, a, a Indigo package came in. So I don't know, I just thought I would include it in this video. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and what's in there is a nice wrapped up volume of My Dress Up Darlings. This is volume five, this recently it just got released and volume six, I think, just went up for pre-order. So I'm gonna have to make sure I pick that up as well. But, oh, I 
love these. The cover art is so beautiful and the art inside is, I can, can I even say even more beautiful? I don't know. I love this series though. Admittedly, I have not watch the anime yet. I, I know some people were like, just go watch it. It's really good. And I know it's good, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we got this. Ah, this is the volume where they're in the hotel. <laughs> so moving on to the next stuff. So I did mention that I went to go visit Gwen and we did some shopping while we were there. And so I thought I would, you know, show you guys what I got when I was there. We did get more manga, which I got volume, what is this, 34 of Haikyuu with, you know, Nekoma on the front. We love that. Oh my god, Tsukishima and Yamaguchi's on the back. I didn't know that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yep, this is, you know, one more addition to my Haikyuu manga. And when I get all of the manga, I'm going to catch up, even if the anime still hasn't finished. So... I'm excited for that. But the other thing that I also got when I was there was the, oh my God, what is this series called? Toilet Bound Hanako-kun uh, illustration book. I never got it because I don't know, I watched a couple episodes of the anime, but I never really got into it. So I felt like I wasn't allowed to get the art book, despite the fact that this is, oh my God, <laughs> the art in the series is so incredible. Just, so I don't want to, yeah, so I got the art book because that makes sense. It makes more sense than me not getting the art book. I don't know why I didn't get the art book. <laughs> but anyways, we have this here and you know, of course, it's just as amazing as you think it would be with this series. And I'm really, I'm really happy I finally decided to get it. Now we also went to Uniqlo. So when we were there, we checked out the anime collabs that they do. So in the women's, they had uh, Demon Slayer, I believe, and in the men's they had more Jujutsu Kaisen, and luckily they still had some of the shirts left of Yuta, and I cannot remember her name right now, so <laughs> don't kill me, but we have this t-shirt here. They only had extra smalls left, which thank God that fits me, but it's so cute. They literally have an embroidered ring on the front, that beautiful illustration of them on the back. Yuta is literally my favorite character in Jujutsu Kaisen now, probably next to Toge. I don't know if he can like surpass Toge, but he's close. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love him. And so I'm really happy to have this shirt. They did such a nice job with it. Yeah. And that's, uh, now we can start getting into some of the figures and bigger merch items, because I still have some of those to show. So starting off with the figures, speaking of Gwen, she did actually manage to get a extra Rin from the Hanairo Gromo line from Stronger of all the Vocaloid characters. And I am collecting that <laughs> series of figures. So she was really nice and sent that to me. And now I have her here. I've actually had her for a while now, but this is kind of my first opportunity to really talk about it. <laughs> and of course, like the rest of the figures in that line, she's incredibly beautiful. They always do such a great job with, you know, the trees and the sakura flowers. The base is really beautiful. And of course, the figure is really beautiful. I genuinely, if you're looking to collect any kind of line of the figures that go together, oh my god, my brain is working so well today. Um, <laughs> then definitely this line is to go. Actually, don't. Because if more people start trying to collect the series, then the last two that I need, which are <laughs> Len and Luca, will go up in price even more than they already are in the aftermarket. So like, don't get these figures, please. Um, and also those two figures suck and you shouldn't get them. And if you are selling them, start selling them for less because like, who's gonna buy them for that amount of money? Anyways, um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that. Um, <laughs> well, Rin is actually, Rin and Len are my favorite Vocaloids. Whatever, Butterfly on My Shoulder is, I think it's what it's called, is one that I used to listen to so much as a kid. And because of that, I just like love them a lot. I'm really excited to have this one. And while Luca's beautiful, Len is probably the one that I'm going to prioritize getting first because again, like they're my favorite Vocaloids. I want to finish this. And he like sits on her tree. <laughs> Yeah, really bad. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> and then moving on to my April 2022 pre-orders from Amiyami, we have two bags and a figure. <laughs> so 
So the first one is the replica Hinata bag, which is really cute. They even included the buttons, of course. Uh, it's pretty big and will definitely like fit a lot of stuff in here, so I'd like to actually use it. Um, and the second one we have is the Tsukishima bag, which I had to get no matter what, even if the shipping was expensive, because it's Tsukishima's bag. <laughs> and I didn't really like it in the photos, to be honest, but seeing it in real life, it's a lot nicer. Uh, the red is really beautiful, the construction of it is really beautiful. I do like, you know, the white here, and again, it's Tsukishima's re replica <laughs> bag. So yeah, um, I got these two and they're both really cool. Um, they have extra details to their zippers with, you know, Haikyuu stamped into it. The insides are personalized to each character. So Tsukishima's is blue and Hinata's is orange. And, you know, they do have extra pockets and stuff for stuff to go inside as well as the tag that says Haikyuu on it. Though I have to say it's a little disappointing that Tsukishima's came with some loose threads but that's fine, I can live with it. I'm still really happy to have them. <laughs> and then of course, the last thing that I got from that order is actually a figure. And this is the one that I was kind of disappointed in. So, oh my God. <laughs> so this is the Azur Lane, I believe, Jean Bart dress version. She's incredibly beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, get out of the way talking about this. She has this really cool bar detail that holds all of these glasses. However, you do have to put them in yourself, which I did on camera and oh my God, it's so hard to put them on because you put one on and then two fall off, which is fun in itself. And also just holding it and moving it has them falling off as well. You know, this is definitely something that after the fact, I will try not to move as much as possible so I don't have to deal with these glasses anymore because it took me so long just to put, just to put them on. <laughs> Listen, this is like a really good idea because it looks so cool to have them all hanging on themselves. Like I do think that this is really cool and fun. Also, I this is another figure now that I can literally never move. Just, just <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying myself like this. The thing is like, I'm doing this on the floor so I literally have to pick her up <laughs> after. So they're all gonna fall out anyways, but I'm kind of determined. Okay, <laughs> we're not fixing it anymore. Hi, B-roll filming Danielle here. So I wasn't gonna add anything to my glasses falling off compilation type thing that I made, but of course they just kept on falling while I was filming the B-roll. And then finally at the end, when I picked up the figure to take it away from this area, <laughs> A couple fell off again and while I was, you know, crawling on the ground trying to find them because they are clear, so they are kind of hard to actually see, I ended up leaning on one of them. So I'm gonna zoom in here. There we go. You can see here that this one ended up bending a bit, so the plastic is a little bit darker compared to this one here, which doesn't have a bend. Yeah, I ended up damaging one of them, which honestly I was expecting at some point. They fall so often, they're hard to see, and I'm surprised I haven't even lost one yet. So <laughs> I'm just excited to put this figure away and not have to touch it anymore, move it anymore, put the glasses back on, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's such a cute figure, it's such a cute design, and really good idea, but oh my god, has this been so tedious. <laughs> Alas, uh, I will let you guys get back to the video. <laughs>
it's not talking about that anymore. You know, this is, it's a really cool concept figure. We have her cannon that she's leaning on, but it just looks like a bar table. You know, she's got the alcohol. It's a really nice figure. I love the design. I was a little disappointed though, because the details that were added were cool but also kind of sloppily done. I don't know, I feel like I've just gotten some really nice figures recently that the sloppiness to the added details is more obvious to me. Like uh, her leg, you can tell where it's literally not even fully connected. It's, it's a really cool detail that she has socks underneath her shoes and that you can see that and that it's kind of separate, but also like her leg is connected to that and it's, it's bigger than her shoes. Like she looks like she's a brat stall <laughs> with a not perfectly fitting shoe. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like this is a beautiful figure. I'm not mad about it not being perfect. I'm, you know, it is what it is. Maybe again, maybe I've just literally been spoiled with figures recently. What they do do, right? They do really well. Like her face is, <laughs> I love her face. Oh my God, she's such pretty eyes. Her dress is really beautiful. They even added shading and stuff. Her hair is like, pretty well done. There's some kind of sloppily attached things like to her bangs, but you know, again, this is just stuff you can get over. It's, it's overall a really nice figure and I really like it. I'm wondering if other people maybe had better quality control on theirs and maybe this was just kind of like a dud or something like that. So I'd actually be really interested if anybody else has this figure that they have some of the same issues, but yeah, I still love her. I still think it's so cool. And you know me, gotta get my beautiful woman with evening wear and guns and alcohol. So <laughs> yeah, I still really, I really do love her. And the last figure that we're gonna be looking at today is probably the best of the three. I don't know, um, but it's definitely a really, really cool figure. Some of you guys might know that the FNX, I believe it was Gojo, just got released and I have him here. So here we have this glorified noodle stopper and oh my God, is, is he amazing? Like, this is what I mean. I feel like I've just gotten really nice figures recently. Like I opened up this one before I opened up the bar stool girl. <laughs> So this Gojo was super expensive. I think 26,000 yen or something like that. But I'm gonna be completely honest. I think that he's worth it. It's 26,000 yen, but you can tell that he's expensive. He's just so well done. It's actually incredible. I was a bit worried that the purple base and Gojo, who's also very purple, was going to be a little too similar, but I feel like it still works really well. It's probably helped by the fact that they do have the black inside as well as the yellow and blue hoops to add some extra color and you know differentiate between the two purples, but also just because the base itself is so glossy and he himself is pretty matte, so those also help kind of differentiate him. And speaking of the base, it's beautiful. Oh my God, he's not like staying still. Anyways, <laughs> the base is really, be it's beautifully sculpted. The only nitpick I would say I have for the base is that there is the, this big seam that you can see all around it, but I'm willing to look over it. It's everything else about it is so well done. Even just like the way that it connects between the outside, the purple part of the base and the inside more matte black part of it is just really well done. Like you can tell that they took, they took the time to make this good. <laughs> And then, you know, just looking at the figure here, he's incredible. Again, I, they just did their best and you can tell. <laughs> the sculpt is really incredible. Uh, there's so many wrinkles and stuff like that to his suit and, you know, just shading and coloring. It's just so nice. Um, the way that they made his shoes glossy too is really nice. I love when they play around with different finishes to make a figure more like visually interesting. And they even added this kind of like purple blushing to the end of, to the ends of his strands on his hair. Of course, his hands are like shaded very well. I think again, because there's not a lot of like extra details to add to this, what they just did was a very good job on what's there. <laughs> his face is incredible. They glossed his eyes, which I'm really happy that figures are starting to do more of. I think it's a really cool detail. And the only thing is though, his mouth is different from the prototype. Like in the prototype, it was more of a smile or a smirk. And in this one, it's literally just an upside down smile. 
I don't know how to explain it. Like it's different though. It did, it did grow on me from when I first opened it up and I was like, what is that? To now looking at it, I still think it, it wor works perfectly well for the figure, but yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just like lost myself talking about this. I love this figure. He's <laughs> so good. It's, I genuinely think he's worth, he's worth the price. If you're gonna go high price, give high quality. And that's exactly what they did. He's amazing. And I will not be using him for noodles. I'm not risking that. <laughs> well, thank you so much to buy for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. And if you subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye. Okay, so I lied. I actually have one more box to open up. It's this one here. And inside we have my fixed lens. It look, I can move the auto I can move the focus. <laughs> I'm most excited about this one. No. Anyways.